92.5. Was this the first time you've met Meryl Streep? Yes. Tell me about that. I mean, it seems that I can already tell that you were sort of taken back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, um, well, I met her in New York to... I had already been cast. I just couldn't believe it. The whole I was sort of waiting the whole time to to find out that the the joke was on me, I guess, uh like like it is on Florence or something that I I'm I'm deluded. Um but I I got it. I went to meet her. We went we sat down to play music together and and it 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 worked, I guess. I don't know. We we I realized that and it was immediately human. She sort of disarms you, you know, because I think she knows that everybody she probably walks around and everyone around her is just like tripping and falling down and right. sort of throwing up and I'm just, oh God. And I, she's like, why is every, everywhere I go, people are just, you know, well, collapsing. Going, there's like an you, epidemic. You That's just her life. You yeah. that situation, yeah, right? So just to have she, a normal conversation. Right. <laughs> so she immediately kind of put me at ease and sort of said, oh, you know, I think she sort of touched my face and said, you know, we're so lucky to have you here. And That's how why you are, haven't shaved. You? No, yeah. no, yeah. exactly. Yeah. That's why this is just a lot of growth. Um, and so it was, uh, I, I kind of, for a moment, thought, oh, I, I, I'm, all right, let's, let's get to work. You know, let's, yeah. let's try this music, this crazy endeavor for both of us. It was sort of, and then we kind of had to like lock arms and jump into the fire together because it was so strange what we were doing to, to to play this music it was we were both very out of our element and uh i i think to to jump into this and do it live and then we recorded at abbey road uh oh my gosh which turned out to just be kind of like a practice you know they threw out all those recordings because we did it live but we recorded an album at abbey road so everything all my dreams sort of collided wow, at once at abbey road. That's, that's amazing insane. yeah i recorded a, a an opera album with meryl streep at abbey road so you know how crazy no is that like talk about updating your linkedin right yeah <laughs> <laughs> yes yes you can find me and i have a great profile <laughs> yeah. now does she uh, watch big bang theory uh -uh. like does she know who you were um i try i, I every time she walked by I'd, i just have it on my phone and sort of right meryl, <laughs> oh oh uh, Theme music follows yeah. you and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah just slip, slip the right. DVDs in her purse. Um, <laughs> yeah, but uh, no, I think that she, uh, I, I, th I mean, she knew. I think you can't yeah. avoid the show right. for better or worse. So you have, you know, it's, it's, it's everywhere. So she's probably been inundated on an airplane or in a hotel room, I'm sure. And there I am. Uh, so uh, she, she was familiar. But uh, I don't know. We, we kind of just, we like, we focused on the, on, on the movie and. Um, I don't. I don't know if she's a, if she was a fan of mine. Well, but. I'm wondering if since we're talking to you about her, if during her interviews people are saying, "Oh my gosh, you worked with Wallowitz." Yes, like, I think so. I'm sure. What no was one's he like? <laughs> no one's interested in her. Did he wear a turtleneck? Oh yeah, yeah wait, and he touched your face, Meryl. Yeah. So you haven't washed your face, have you? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm sure she's just sick of answering all the the questions about about Simon. Uh, um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think uh, I think people. It, she's you know it's it's you're in the you're you really are in the presence of greatness. Not you. Well, you guys do. Well, we uh, feel it. Uh, we feel it. No, when you're around her, it's uh, um, and she's lovely, but y you kind of can't help but look at her and think, wow, this right. person, the, what th this career and the, the characters that she's brought to life, and this character in this one is another new person that you've never seen i don't know how every time she does a movie you just can't believe who that it's her and there's a new person right there in front of you and, and it's it, a real person too yeah. which adds a whole new dimension so yeah. i mean did you do people know who your character is do like did you have to really study up on him in order to become him or was this just well i mean it, it was a bit of both there it, there wasn't a lot of uh of information readily available uh, people definitely i don't think cosme mcmoon is a household name or even a, a normal human name but uh <laughs> right. but but there was enough information um to kind of like kind of give me a couple interesting nuances but the script was really where i yeah. took it from and i think all of us and 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 that's there's something liberating about only having a certain amount of of information or obligation to to portray somebody right. accur accurately and and that that gives you a freedom and and he, we, I just saw him as the guy that 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 uh that that I played him as so and he's a piano player as we've already established yeah. but you know I've heard a lot of actors say that they take a piece of the, that character with them when they leave the movie is there anything mm -hmm. that you feel that you maybe like zoned in on that you're kind of learning uh, from or taking with you well he he was an amateur uh, bodybuilder uh 
<laughs> just to give him, just to round him out as the most odd human being of all time. <laughs> right. Um, and, uh, and, and so, no. <laughs> <laughs> You know, Florence, um, the real Florence, is actually from where I grew I, up. Yes, in right around Wilkes here. Wilkes-Barre. Yeah. yeah. And then she moved to Philadelphia, as right. I did. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that I'm going to be following in her footsteps now because I Boy. sing opera horribly. Perfect. And I just need to surround myself with people who love me enough to get me rich doing it. Uh, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I, I think you, you are, uh, yeah, you, it's always good to aim for being totally insulated and deluded right. by, Thank by you. people. So I wish you a lot yeah. happier of a place, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, ignorance people have been is bliss. saying that about me for years. Well, and, you know, I, I, I someone from the Big Bang Theory says it, and then I know that. Yeah, it's I'm totally true. lying to you right now. Okay. I, I, I think you're wonderful. <laughs> <laughs>